Hi, and welcome to Nuclear Dawn Help 104. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing strategies for Metro. Now the way I'm going to approach this is uh, basically I'm going to run through all the various weaknesses that you're going to have in this map first and then we'll move into the actual strategy in action. We're first going to uh, kind of walk and point out to you that this is the front entrance. As you can see there are two uh, side hallways also. Another thing that you can also want to point out is these doorways right here. There is a little tunnel that's going to be on the right side of consortium, or consortium, excuse me. And as you can see, it walks straight into our base. This is actually a weakness for us because it allows them to come in and assassinate uh, you as a commander very easily. There's also going to be a left entrance, but it's very short. It's just briefly right here, and there you go. You're outside, and then that's it. There's a wall. There's no further extension of the tunnel. There is going to be some uh, light cover for some fire in case you want to hide in this little area. There's the entrance. Now I do want to also review the tunnel that's on the right hand side. Now of course as you can see there are going to be several entrances into the tunnel. There's one I just took in. As you can see the tunnel extends all the way out here and then it kind of stops briefly at the secondary resource point on the right side of the map. Here we go, moving along the right secondary. Now you can choose not to continue to take the tunnel. You can also take some brief fire. I'm gonna hop right through this window. There's the entrance to the Empire. You can run along this way and I'm gonna show you the actual Empire base right there or you can try to take the tunnel it does have several entrances so I'm going to go back to where I was just earlier and I'm going to show you where that tunnel is I'll walk through this doorway and kind of hidden back here is this very dark hallway there you go here's a tunnel Now, it also can be entered in through here. Here we go again, you see the doorway. This is another entrance, the final entrance, exterior entrance into that tunnel. And then there's the, there's their base, which actually makes it easier for one of our guys also, conversely, to become a stealth and actually assassinate their commander. I'm gonna go ahead and run back and uh, take the tunnel back to our base so you can see once again what the pathway looks like if they were to try to send a stealth uh, using the cover of the tunnels and so that way they can avoid running into somebody. Alright, now we're gonna, these two spots I'm pointing at are where very good spots for you to go ahead and put a wireless repeater. The next one will be in this corner. Reason being is you fairly get some decent shielding from that side of the hallway. Also, this left side hallway here is a very, very hot point. Uh, Empire is basically, this is their only way, pathway to build into primary. Our forward spawn should go right there. And uh, again, I'm gonna show you another tunnel. This map is gonna be a bit of a challenge for commanders because the large number of paths that you can take to get to primary and also take out structures when you're inside primary as well. As you can see, there's another uh, entrance going on to the right side of the map. And here we are back again at that secondary resource point. I'm gonna run across again so you can see it. There, I was just here a second ago. This is also going to be a weak point for us as consortium because they might send an exo through this right here, through this entrance, to try to come in and pop off some of your structures. As you can see, there's a clear hallway right here. Now I'm going to go back up the left hallway. This is going to be the hot spot. Right down there is where they're going to build down to try to get into primary. This is another entrance that they can try to take. As you can see, there's their front entrance. They can come right down this hallway and get into primary that way. 
Likewise, uh, the, their little tunnels mimic ours. They also have a very short tunnel as well. Right here, I'm walking through it. Where we could try to maybe harass them if we were an EXO and if, if you were to make it that far without being shot down. Also, you need to be careful. This is a very good spot for them to actually uh, take out all of our structures, which is why we're going to build into primary as I'm going to show uh, when we have the game actually in action. We also have, it's another reason why this is difficult is because right here, we have a second floor also. And in addition, we have a third floor. These is going to be very, very difficult to defend because they could be running anywhere. There's several ways to get up there to the second and third floor. You can take these stairs. There's one on each side. And we have a resource point right here. It also provides a little bit of problems for them because one of our exos could get a limited amount of fire and protection and shoot down structures from up there. Likewise, they can do the same thing to us, but there's not really a whole lot of room to shoot anything. So we're pretty good on our side. We can also go down those stairs, get back to the ground level. Now, I'm still up here on the third floor. Please be aware that this is actually the best way to try to, to defend or take down primary if they have structures, for example. We can also get up to the second and third floor very easily. I'm gonna show this right here. If we were to walk out the front uh, door of our base, right out there, we can walk up these stairs and we can go up to the second floor, which is right here. Or we could just take some stairs up here and we're on the third floor. Now we can also walk over to their side. We have just as much easy access to get to their third floor as well. Their third floor, let me show you how the way the stairs look on their side. There we go. They could walk up the they could go through their front entrance, come up these stairs, and we have second floor and third floor. Another small challenge that they have, which is a slight disadvantage, is that they actually have this we actually can use this spot to try to harass them it's not a very good spot uh, actually our guys can get popped off pretty easily from up here but it's an option you can also walk to the edge and drop on the second stairs without falling down and hurting yourself as well this is their second floor entrance this is actually a good spot for one of our exos to hang out and pop off structures in that hallway As you can see, it's very easy to get across our side on the second floor. This is our crucial area. Our forest spawn is going to be there, and they might try to send an XO to try to pop that off. So please be aware of that as well. In addition, we also have one more resource point on the very, very underground level. You can use that to walk across. There's the, this side's empty, and then here's where the resource is. I'm just gonna run across to show you how it shows when you come up on their side. The underground level doesn't have anything except that resource point, and then there we go. We're back on uh, at their front entrance. Also, one more thing to keep in mind is this is a very good sniping spot for them. They can have exos and pop any structures off that we have once we start building up this left hallway uh, further on in the game. All right, so in this game, I was selected to be commander. I accept it. I go into the RTS mode. All right, first thing I do is I build a wireless repeater right here. You don't want to build it right out in the hallway where they can try to shoot it or pop it off. Then I uh, did the field tactics upgrade. I want to be able to uh, get my guys uh, siege kits as soon as possible when the time arrives. So next thing I'm going to do is build my power station. You have to have one eventually, so might as well get it out of the way right now, and it takes quite a while to build. Once my first wireless repeater was done, I build the next wireless repeater to extend the power. I'm going to kind of skip through this because this game does take almost 45 minutes. Next I build this wireless repeater. It's great because, again, it's inside that corner, it kind of barely shields them and it allows 
uh, me to get some wireless range. Now the Empire should be able to build into primary faster than us because their structures take almost a third less time to build. So as you can see this commander is actually fairly smart. First thing he's doing is he's building a power structure instead of back in his side his base like I did he's building it inside primary. And that's good because he can start building lots of structures and it takes a lot of hit points. And since I don't have siege kits right away, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. So he can build pretty much whatever he wants right now. I use a little bit of resources to go ahead and build a turret to back my guys up because they're going to be under a lot of fire. Luckily, my guys are really doing really good. They captured primary in the beginning, so that really, really, really helped out in it tremendously. Next thing I did is since they have structures being built in primary, I need to get my guys siege kits right away. I build the armory, I try to drop some supplies down there because they're all getting hit. See, he's got a forest spawn right in primary, so he has the advantage right now. And he's building more structures. I sold off these structures in the back because I did build a forest spawn, as you saw earlier. As soon as my uh, armory is built, I, I research advanced kits right away. Now I build this turret here, so that way they don't they try they uh, don't try to cut off my power. As you can see, th this commander is doing really good. He's building a a lot of turrets all around the place. I build a, a second power structure because, as you can see in the bottom right, excuse me, bottom left, my power is low. I build some more supplies right there because I need my exos to take out all those structures on the left hallway. Eventually, my guys were successful. The exos knocked off all the structures, and here I get assassinated. This is just to kind of show you how easy it is for their assaults to come in through the right hallway. They can sneak in and kill you pretty easily. So there was a bit of a waste of time. I had to run all the way back, as you can see right here, to get back inside the bunker. Now, if the other team was smart, all they had to do was get an engineer to actually kill off one of the wireless repeaters in the middle, and then they would have cut off all of our power, and we would have lost the game. But they were too busy trying to assassinate me instead of think that way. Just as a tip, if you're Empire also. So anyway, I shot the assault and I got back into R RTS mode. Next, I built, uh, don't have enough range, so I need to get my guys a little bit more supplies, because one box isn't going to do it. And I went ahead and since I did, did have a little bit of resources, I built a second one right there. Now I went ahead and I decided, well, I need to, might as well go ahead and get myself a little bit of defense. Uh, it's really not a good idea to build a whole lot of turrets inside your base. It's a waste of money and, uh, you know, you need to be supporting your men. Now I need to extend my reach, so I went ahead and I built a wireless repeater right there. And just in case I wanted to have double redundancy, you see I can't build a power supply, I built to put a wireless repeater right there. Now, another reason why I'm building a power supply inside primary is because if they cut off my, my power, I still have a power supply in, in primary to kind of keep everything afloat in, during the meantime. You don't want to get caught where you're going to be uh, stuck. This is another crucial point. I put a turret right in that doorway where they could come in, got my men some uh, supplies. Again, you want to keep your men full of supplies. You can see they're coming up that left hallway. Uh, taking out all the Empire structures. Now, the only thing the Empire has to do at this point is to basically come up the second and third floor and pop off my structures in primary. There's nothing they can do at this point. So I build a forward spawn up here so they can continue pushing up that left side and you have to get a turret also uh, for them as well. They're going to need a little, a little bit of backup. Now the right side is extremely weak and since they weren't smart enough to pull an engineer to maybe hit my wireless uh, repeaters in the middle, I went ahead and started building out on the right. As you can see, I'm still building out. This is uh, to get a little bit of energy independence. I put another uh, power uh, structure up there just in case they wised up. Now I put this uh, turret right here. This gives a minimal defense in case someone tries to come down the right side. Luckily, my guys are pushing up there, so I, I continue to extend the power. And I also put that gun right there. It's not. It it's really doesn't matter where you put a turret on that area. I just happen to put it right there. You see me. I continue to extend the power structure. Now we're almost done building up on the right hand side. Give my guys some more supplies. They're doing a really good job at pushing. Again, don't put it. You want to put that along the wall, just like I have it placed right there. You want to put a turret right in front of that doorway because you don't want them to pop out of that doorway and start shooting your structures down because right now everything I have is exposed. 
put this back here that'll provide some more power on the right side as well and then build a forward spawn this helps my guys up because now they can spawn directly inside the action I supply my guys with a rocket turret, a couple boxes of supplies, and then this wireless repeater I'm placing right now. That's a crucial point because when you place it there, then you get enough range to start putting a couple sonic turrets inside their base, just like this. Now don't go overboard and spending all of your money building wireless, uh, uh, building turrets. Don't fight the game yourself, let your men do it, they, they're actually better than, than the sonic turrets can. The sonic turrets are just to provide a distraction, so your men, as you can see right here, can do this. Now I build another forward spawn right in the action, and then I build a bunch of supplies, so that way my men uh, won't have any problem keeping any health up. Another forward spawn again, just in case that one gets destroyed. And as you can see, my my all my turrets were destroyed very quickly, except for one. But my men, they make up for the difference. Again, so, uh, it's more important to back up your troops than it is to fight the game yourself. And that's it. If, thank you for watching. If you have any other uh, suggestions or if you think that this was not a very good strategy, uh, please feel free to comment. Uh, this is my favorite strategy. There are others. Uh, thank you very much. And subscribe, like, leave feedback again, as I said, and thank you.